When it comes to homeschooling, there are so many ways that you can do it, doing what works best for you. But one of those ways that have really has been coming to the forefront as people are talking about it more is unschooling. And when you say that you are unschooling, usually people, first of all, it's like, what is unschooling? Like, well, how do you do it? And then often you get like, but how do you unschool math? I mean, can you do it? The answer to that is... Hi friends, welcome. I'm Michaela and this is Learning Life. Thank you so much for watching today. Hmm, unschooling and unschooling math. Can you do it? Is it possible? I am here to say yes. Yes, it really is possible. That is one of the beautiful things about like homeschooling and unschooling. There are just so many fantastic ways. And sometimes we think, oh, I maybe want to try it, but I don't know how to do it. Can I do it? Well, that's why I love bringing like these videos here, because I want to touch on some of those things and highlight that so that I can perhaps be answering those questions for you or maybe pique your interest, as well as doing other fun parents and crafting videos too. So thank you so much for watching, for liking, subscribing, sharing with your friends. Hey, it's never too late to subscribe. Well, you might even be asking, what is unschooling? Well, unschooling is in a way like it is a spectrum. It is a form of homeschooling where traditionally, can we say traditionally in unschooling? Hmm. Well, it's where you're not using curriculum. You are learning from life that everything around you is what is going to feed into your learning. And of course, there are those that are very like sort of staunch, fully unschooling in it. If it's in part of like everyday life and how they do it. And then you have like some like me who, I mean, I love unschooling, but I use a little bit of curriculum here and there. You know, there's so many different facets to it. And that's what I like. You can make it work for you and for your children. So it's really involved in the children's interest in what they are interested in, in building on that and learning in natural and organic ways. Okay. So yes, I unschool, but not fully. And really like the only little bit of curriculum that we are using right now is math because my girls actually just really enjoy a math curriculum. They did not get that from me, but maybe that's because of how I learned it. But they are doing something online that if they have mastered it, they get to move on. Like it just moves them on at their pace, which I love. Like, I think that's what I hated at school is that we're all going to be doing this lesson. And then like we learned it, you practice it at home, you came back the next day and everybody moves on like soldiers, you know? And then I found myself just learning a whole lot of math that I'm like, oh, I just don't get it. And I'm, it was really more learning like math facts so that you could apply it. And so yeah, my girls do actually love a little bit of a worksheet here and there. And they love like sort of trying to stump mummy, like with asking math questions, but we've made it like a game. And like, that's the thing that really from a young age, we have involved math in so many different ways from when they were little and we'd go on walks and we'd look at numbers and that up the going to the shops, you know, like playing games, cooking, like using math in a variety of ways in the house and outside too. And much of what they've learned in math is like organic, like reading. They've just sort of picked it up and then like they'll ask questions about it and we build upon it. And then from that, you know, like they're building on in their interest and in their skills in math, because really that's what we need to think about, that math is a skill set and not a subject like we've made it. Okay. Yes, there are higher, higher levels of math. I get it. Like engineers need it. Our fantastic pharmacists and scientists. Yes, like I get that. But let's just come back like to our children. It is a skill set that we need for everyday life, but we've sort of made it more of a subject and tried to encapsulate it. And, you know, so when we think about skill set and what I can be learning and how do I use it, it really changes that. Like, have you seen that meme, um, you know, another day went by and I haven't used algebra and I've heard people say it and I'm inside, you know, just going, yeah, you have, you've used it today. You just don't realize it because we've tried to label everything and say, well, this is algebra and we're going to teach like the entire subject of algebra, not fully understanding that we're actually using it in so many different ways throughout the day. I mean, really, what's it? Finding X. It's finding the unknown. We do that 
all the time. So I'm very sorry to say that there's every chance that you have probably used algebra today. You just didn't realize it. How do you unschool math? Let go of preconceived notions of how you learned math. Okay. Let go of those preconceived notions. Like, yes, as I said, we've learned it at school. It's like this, the teacher instructed, and then like we all just sort of moved on and we did tests on it. And if you didn't get it right, oh, well, keep moving on. Okay. So worksheets, textbooks, all of those things. When you are unschooling math, let that go. Shake that off. You know, maybe you had a bad taste in your mouth because of how you were learning it. I get that. I now see how math is great because I'm using it practically and functionally every day. So understand and show that math is everywhere. It is everywhere. It's in your house. It's on the street. It's in the park. It's at the shops. It's in nature. Math is everywhere. And when we can show that and how we're using it, like in different ways, we can build upon that and build on the interest and show how we are using it. Try to keep the joy, oh, the beauty and meaning in math and the fun and the fun. Yes, math can be fun. And you're probably thinking joy and beauty in math. Yes, I used to be like skeptical about that too. It's probably around the time of logarithms, you know, and the quadratic formula. You know, when I look at that, I'm like, oh, but they're actually... When I stopped and started thinking about like patterns in music and orchestral works and all of these different things, there is so much beauty, even in math and even in our lower levels of math, you know, and where it is and that it is fun and we can have fun with it. And another great thing is that calculators are amazing. They are such an excellent tool and so accessible. I remember, I think it was back in fourth grade when they finally introduced calculators to us, you know, and they're like, remember, we're just going to be using that to make sure that you got your calculations correct, but you need to know how to use a calculator. Oh my goodness. They are everywhere now. So why aren't we using it? Why do we go to so much efforts to teach like long division and three digit times three digit multiplication when we have a calculator that can do that? Like, I get it. Like, I actually really do enjoy numbers and I do actually enjoy doing multiplication facts. Um, nerd. But, you know, calculators are there, so why not be using that? I mean, our children really are growing up in a generation that calculators are everywhere. So let's really use that and let them see how they, that is an integral part of math and part of their life. Activities for unschooling math. There are so many great activities for unschooling math. So like we've shaken off our preconceived notions and we've realized, oh, I don't have to use worksheets. I don't have to use textbooks. And like, oh, but how can I use math? Well, here are just some activities, right, that you can use for unschooling math because there are so, so many. But I wanted to just hit on some so that you can start maybe like circling around those ideas of going, oh, yeah math is there and there and there and there. So let's think of board games, card games, and video games. Don't discount the video games. Okay. So there is, these are just wonderful. Puzzles, tangrams, and those other manipulatives. Cooking together. I mean, that's really one of my favorite. I love cooking together. Reading books that use math. Like, we love Math Curse by John C. Esker and Lane Smith in our house. Like, it just, oh, so much fun in there. There are so many great books uh, for that use math. You know, saving up and purchasing a wanted item. Planning a meal and making it. Traveling. I mean, we love to travel as a family. Sadly, like, COVID sort of slowed us down. But, like, planning a trip and then actually taking it. Creating art, doing crafts. Yes, we are a craft household. My girls love it every day. It's like, what can we do today? Gardening, building something, you know, even learn an instrument. Okay, that's just a few ideas on how we can be like unschooling math without involving textbooks or worksheets and actually moving through all these different understandings and levels and skills of math. So remember, Math is a skill set 
not really just a subject. You know, yes, there are so many intricacies to math, but when we can take that and make it every day for our children, we can beautifully unschool math for them without having to be rote memorizing and building upon and having to do this and having to do this. Because when we practice skills, remember when we practice, they get better, right? So when we practice our math skills, like in everyday life, we are improving and that helps us to learn and to grow like in math. And isn't that our goal of education? We want our children to be learning and to grow. I know for me, my my heart and my desire is that my girls are learning the skills that they need, like for education. Because when we have a good, strong foundation of skills, then like the content falls on top. It's the same with math. Like when we have it as a skill set and we are using it in everyday life, we are learning and growing in math. So we can unschool in math and it can be so much fun and we don't have to get like so worried about like are we is it at the right age because you will find just how much they will learn and grow well thank you so much for watching today like how can we unschool math oh we can do it by having fun you know if you have any questions about it please feel free to ask me just shoot me a comment below. And if you want to see more of these videos come out, we do bring them out weekly, then, you know, you can join us as a champion and you can do that by checking out patreon.com or my website that has like these posts and like blog posts that go with it and often some other information. And you can check that out at learningthis.life. <music>